As personality statements go, cars are hard to beat. Sporty, show-offy people like sports and luxury cars. Outdoorsy sorts will want a Jeep Wrangler or a Toyota 4Runner. And if you're the sensible person, you get a beige Toyota Corolla. But who the hell is this thing for? It's the 2018 Polaris Slingshot, and it's the only car for the indecisive extrovert. How does it look? The simple answer is like nothing else on the road. The three-wheeled slingshot is what happens when a sport bike rams the back of a KTM crossbow. Angular, odd, and unabashedly sporty, it attracts slack-jawed stares and general confusion wherever it goes. Its scowling eyebrows and beady headlights look like leftovers from a Gundam, while the wide, single rear tire sits beneath a bloated tail that looks better suited to a scooter. How's the storage? You're, you're, you're joking, right? But seriously, the slingshot storage space is extremely limited. There are a pair of cubbies behind each seat as well as a glove box. Still, even the lightest packers will struggle with the slingshot. A pair of cup holders is all that's accessible while driving. Is it roomy? In some ways, cabin space is better than some roadsters. While driver and passenger are close, the side sills and the lack of roof make the slingshot feel very open. But the pedal box is tiny, and there's no dead pedal for your left foot. The passenger footwell is similarly cramped. How does the interior feel? At the very least, the cabin is durable. These hard black plastics are much more acceptable in a vehicle that's constantly exposed to the elements. The Sparkle branded steering wheel, shifter, and pedals are fine, but these two feel a little bit below the average that we would expect from a modern OEM. The seats are the big issue though. This bottom cushion is little more than a saddle. The back has an acceptable amount of support, but we wouldn't mind a little bit more comfort overall. Is it well equipped? Every slingshot gets basic safety features like ABS, traction, and stability control. But moving up to our $29,000 slingshot SLR adds a 200 watt Rockford Frostgate audio system, a seven inch touchscreen infotainment system, navigation, Bluetooth audio and phone connectivity, and a rear view camera. But more luxurious features like a heated seat are missing and the projector style halogen bulbs feel very old fashioned in a car from 2018. How's the infotainment system? The seven inch touchscreen is responsive and includes a bank of analog buttons for navigation and volume control, thankfully. But for a vehicle that's constantly in the open, we're surprised Polaris couldn't come up with a solution to deal with screen glare. The navigation and rear view camera are virtually useless during the day. Is it a good daily driver? The slingshot is more comfortable than a sport bike by virtue of having, well, a seat. But the gap between the two isn't very big. The only way to control the temperature is by dressing in layers. When it's warm out, you are going to get very, very hot. And because the center tire is in the center, it means you cannot dodge potholes in this thing. If you try to split them, your center tire will hit it. Which means the ride is even more comfortable than it would be normally. Is it fun to drive? over from the Pontiac Solstice. It's a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder with 173 horsepower and 166 pound feet of torque. It's matched up to a five speed manual transmission also left over from the Solstice. The clutch pedal is light and easy to modulate and the gear changes have a really pleasant mechanical sensation to them. The big rear tire is willing to tolerate some antics but it is very easy to overpower in a vehicle that only weighs 1,749 pounds. Keep that in mind when you're trying to go around corners. How's the fuel economy? The short answer is we don't know. Motorcycle manufacturers aren't obligated to run fuel economy tests, nor are they obligated to list an estimated fuel economy number. 
Slingshot enthusiast seemed to list 25 miles per gallon as the expected combined rating, which means the 9.77 gallon tank should be able to cover just under 250 miles before requiring a fill up. How much is it? The base Polaris Slingshot S starts at $19,999. It's very lightly equipped and is only available in black. If you want a Slingshot SLR like ours, the starting price is $28,999. It includes all the mechanical goodies along with Bilstein dampers, the Rockford Frostgate audio system, and navigation. What are the negatives? The Polaris Slingshot suffers from all the same drawbacks as a modern sport bike but it also suffers from some of the same issues as today's two-seat roadsters. It's loud, small, uncomfortable, noisy, and requires a little bit of a crazy streak to live with. Who should buy it? For motorcycle riders who are unable to accept the risk inherent in biking, or for those that are physically unable to ride a bike, the Polaris Slingshot is an intriguing proposition. 